I if I would have known how much difficult it would have been, <laughs> I'm not sure I would have launched a jump. Um, you know, speaking of equality, yes, is revolutionary, and I I didn't I didn't perceive that before. Because why is it a revolutionary? I, I, I thought launching German, I thought it was only about the autonomy of women. So it doesn't seem a big deal, isn't it? I, I didn't understand that I was speaking about good management in company. I didn't understand that I was speaking of growth for the economy, macroeconomic growth, because in every kind of society, the more equal men and women are, the more women do work, the more the economy is growing, but not only, the more they are uh, having children. In these economies, modern economies, industrial economies, like Japan, like Germany, like Italy or like Spain, where women don't really have the choice, either they choose to have a career, either they choose to have babies. Because of many, many reasons, because of the culture, because it's not well considered. You're not a good mother if, you have a, if you're having a career. Uh, and also because all the services given by the society, by public authorities, uh, are not, are not that to, there to help women to continue uh, 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 of having a, a career and having children. So it's a very complex situation where women uh, tend to penalize the workplace and the, natal the, the, the natality uh, birth rate. Why? Because they enter into the labor market, they are more qualified than men, so they enter massively into the labor market, they tend to have a career, the, the quickest as they can, because that they know that at a certain point, when they will decide to have babies, they will have to face choices. And so, uh, very often, they do their first baby after 35 years old, which is complicated then afterwards uh, to make other uh, children. And at that time, either they uh, decrease very, very much uh, their, their working time, so they, 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 they work part-time, and so they also decrease their ambition level, either they leave uh, the marketplace, the labor marketplace, um, which is even worse because when they leave, they very hardly come back. Um, and then they are having only one child, even not two, so only one. So they do penalize the economy and they do penalize uh, uh, the birth rate, which is, which is completely crazy. And this is in every kind of society with, where women are not given uh, the possibility of having it all, career and family. And so JUMP is about uh, well, the well-being of the society because, because, because when women work, uh, the economy is, is, is much better. Um, there is really, um, I would say, the protection of our social uh, system uh, it's fundamental to protect our social system that more and more women uh, work more and more hours and having more and more um, um, top, this, top, le top level, top positions. Um, and the third aspect, so performance of the company, micro performance, macro performance, so growth of the economy. And the third thing is a very important thing. We change the perception of masculinity and femininity. We are changing everything by doing that. Uh, we are changing the patriarchy. We are changing the system. We are changing the dominance. Um, it's not a very long time that women are on the labor market. It's something like 50 years. Of course, the major part of women always worked, but in a very, very, uh, a small category of, of jobs, being executant, earning so a very very low level of income, 
uh, and so they had no real impact. They, they were importing, massively they were importing, important to the economy, but individually they were not, and they were very, very poor. That means that they were dependent uh, on men. Uh, in these 50 years, nobody, nobody asked us to come and work. But what we did first is to educate ourselves. And when you have a long education, when you have a lot of qualifications, you want to use it. Mm -hmm. And not being stuck at an executive level, an executant level. You want to go higher. And so, and you want to have the possibility of, 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 of having every kind of job. And so, without announcing their cuckoo, we are arriving. Uh, Women tend to enter in every kind of level, every kind of position, every kind of job, changing really very deeply the, 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 the companies. It, it is also changing the leadership attitude, the leadership styles, because till now, uh, if a woman wanted to be recognized as a potential leader, she had to behave like a man or even a worse than men, being very, a lot of authority, very, very, very hard. Uh, because you have the double binding, uh, when, when you have a woman in a leadership position, uh, you don't consider a leader unless she doesn't uh, behave like a real leader, like you saw, like you see it, like you imagine it, so very, with a lot of authority. Um, but in the, mean, in the same time, she's a woman, and you don't expect such a behavior from a woman. So that means that she's not liked, she's not appreciated, because she is considered by the others a bitch, because it's not, it's not how a woman should behave. This is our stereotypes, the things that we are carrying. And so she, these women that were the pioneers entering in these top positions, entering in all these very masculine jobs, uh, they had so much difficulty and they had to lose even their feminine, their feminine appearance by having dark colors, uh, by, you know, by being the, more, the most as possible similar to a man, so that they are much more considered, well considered as a leader. Now this is changing because women do not want to behave like someone else. They want to keep their authenticity. And this is why Jump is uh, uh, pink, because we want to make a statement that pink can be a business color too. Everybody has to gain to get the diversity, the real diversity, having women that do stay authentic. Not If, if somebody wants to behave uh, very harshly, no problem with that. But if somebody wants to be nice, to have a, a good sense of listening, of uh, uh, um, uh, putting uh, forward the collaboration instead of the competition and so on, she should have the possibility of doing that. This is not a bad way of managing. This is another way mm -hmm. of managing. So please stay yourself. And we are, are at that turning point. And I do think that women, by entering massively the companies, they do tend to change the leadership style. Slowly, but they tend to, to change it. But what happens within the family? If a woman is expected to work full-time and even to have responsibility, she cannot face that by carrying also the responsibility of the children and of the house management. It's crazy. If you do a 9-5 schedule, okay, it's difficult, but you can manage. But if you, if you come back home with, uh, uh, with emails to send, uh, and, and also in responsibility, if you, have to, if, if you have to travel and so on, you need to share household responsibilities and family care with your partner. And that means that even the roles of men and women within the family are completely changing. And this is a fundamental change for women, but also for men. Perhaps even more for men. 
young men now tend to discover that they can be a different father from their own father, mm. being much having much more attention, being much more present, and and so and and so on. But they 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 tend to to uh, to discover a really new world and a new way of being a father. Now we are entering in a new phase. They tend to discover a new way of being a man. You are not a man because you are macho. You are not a man because a real man because you you have a, a, you are the breadwinner of the family. You can also be a man uh, uh, if if your wife is earning more than you or or or, or on equal pace. You can be a, a man if you do the dishes sometimes. So, and everything is changing. The perception is changing. The, the, the perception of themselves is changing. And this gives a fantastic uh, opening to other ways of being. Because patriarchy makes women suffer so much. But it makes also suffer the man. The man that cannot cry. The man that cannot show emotion. The man that must always be the winner and always having a fantastic career, they cannot be a loser, even if, even at a certain point in their life where they cannot manage, when they, they, they may be depressed or some, something like that. They lose their identity of man because the patriarchy has always told them that you're not a man if you're weak. That's crazy. So patriarchy is, is really awful for everybody. Feminism, it's not to be anti-man, it's not to be against men. Feminism is only to, 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 to enable each individual to develop herself or himself uh, following her own personality, independently of what is expected of your man or woman. And this is real feminism, and this is real, really revolutionary. Really revolutionary. And this is complicated as a message because every when I say that everybody can agree, but then when things are really changing uh, within the family and within the company, uh, wow, well, you know, women, men have a lot of privilege till now, but it's always like that. White have more pri privilege than black people, but white people don't feel that they are they, they have this privilege because they do not consider badly the black people, but they don't have really the, the same experience. Mm -hmm. They don't live the same things. And it's the same with men and women. Men have a lot of privilege, but they don't know it. They don't know it. For them, it's uh, for women have the choice uh, if they want to. Women can be ambitious. Uh, women can... They don't... They, 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 they do not recognize uh, all the barriers that they face because they don't recognize that they are the dominant part of the society and saying that is much more difficult uh, uh, to, to really to communicate yes. really to communicate so if I would have known how difficult it would have been <laughs> but it's so exciting because I really it's the first time in, in our society that men and women are so equal. It's the first time. And this is only for very few, very, very small part of our world. So we have to, to celebrate that. We have to be proud of that. But it's not, we have equality we, of rights, certainly. But now we need to, uh, to concretize these rights and to make uh, the reality much more equal.